source. A source is a device used to supply AC or DC voltage. AC means alternating current and it comes from an electric power source or generators, while DC stands for direct current which we can get from batteries. A consuming device is any device that consumes voltage. It is a component or piece of equipment that is connected to a source and draws current from a source and is a load on that source. A light bulb is the most common example of this. A controlling device is a device that has two states. On or closed and off or open. Ideally, it has zero impedance when closed and infinite impedance when open. A light bulb switch is an example of this. A protecting part is a component that is used to open the circuit when the current exceeds a predetermined maximum value. Examples of protecting parts are the diodes, resistors, capacitors, transistors, relays, integrated circuits or IC, and Connecting material is material that conducts electric current very well and it is used to connect a complete path for the current. A very clear example of this is the copper wire. A flathead screwdriver is used to loosen or tighten slotted screws. A Phillips head screwdriver is used to loosen or tighten cross head screws. A Torx screwdriver is used to loosen or tighten screws that have a star-like depression on the top, a feature that is mainly found on laptop screws. A hex driver, sometimes called a nut driver, is used to tighten nuts in the same way that a screwdriver tightens screws. The needle nose plier is also known as the long nose plier and it is used to hold small parts. A wire cutter is used to strip and cut wires. A wire stripper is a portable handheld tool used by workers, especially electricians, for removing the protective coating of an electric wire. The overhead flashlight is used to light up areas that you cannot see well. A soldering iron is a device for applying heat to melt a solder in attaching two metal parts. A soldering iron is composed of a heated metal tip and an insulated handle. A soldering iron stand is a place where the soldering iron is placed during usage. This will keep the soldering iron away 
from flammable materials. A desoldering tool is used in removing soldered wires and components on printed circuit boards for troubleshooting and repair purposes. A multimeter is used to test the integrity of circuits and the quality of electricity in computer components. A test light is a simple electrical device that you can use to see whether a circuit is carrying current. A circuit tester has a series of lights that shows the wiring state in the outlet, so the technician can verify that it has been installed correctly. In electronics, there is a process called electrical termination. A wire termination is the work performed at the end of a wire that allows it to connect to a device. The wire insulation is stripped and the contact terminal is attached to the wire. Have you ever done a science experiment where you made a simple circuit connection? Cleanliness is essential for efficient, effective soldering in the soldering process. Why? A solder will not take effect on dirty, greasy, and oxidized surfaces. Connections to be soldered should be cleaned just before the actual soldering operation. Tinning is the coating of the material to be soldered with a light coat of solder. Spot the hazard. Get to know what is unsafe in the workplace. A hazard is a potential source of harm. It can be in the form of substances, events, or circumstances that can cause damage to health, life, property, or any other item or to assess the risk. What could risk is the chance or probability that the person will be harmed or experience an adverse health effect once exposed to a hazard. 3. Safety Hazard A safety hazard is something that can cause immediate physical injury or damage. Health Hazards Health hazards are things that can cause illness or diseases over time. The following are the primary causes of health hazards. Inappropriate and defective tools, unguarded machines, and electrical hazards.